What's happening, guys? Welcome to the first ever Silverado Sunday. Obviously, you've already seen the truck. I got some clips in there. Jacob's over here, hard at it. He just peeled this dumb junk sticker off. And now you're, no, we ain't got no light back here. No, no. Let me see if I can get us some light. There we go. Peeling off these skull stickers. Both sides. Yeah, both sides. Uh, this truck, unfortunately, has been butchered up pretty bad. We've Wiring, been. Wiring, uh, cosmetics, everything. You name it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's been messed up. Yeah, horribly bad. I mean, something we, we want is AC. Obviously, the AC has been cut out. There's wires everywhere. Speaking of which, did you kill the fuel pump? So somebody decided to, I guess the fuel pump relay quit working, so they wired a switch into the fuel pump. Yeah. So we have to make sure the fuel pump's cut off. This is a 350-57 uh, TBI engine, so it's throttle body injected, so it's fuel injected. Um, man, I just, it drives me crazy because we got all this stuff laying around. There's a purge valve there that's been disconnected. That's probably part of our check engine light. Map sensors just laying around. And then we had to, Jacob rewired the knock sensor wire the other day, but I think we're gonna have to come back here maybe and wire up more. The coolant temp sensor has been chewed through by a rat and so has the alternator as well so the alternator i had pulled it off got another pigtail for it everything's here um we got a lot of work to do to it and we're going to do this just like we did we're, we're doing the fox body we're going to do by seasons right yep. all right so we're going to do seasons yeah ideally yeah <laughs> so season one i think what we're going to do is get this engine running correct just like on the Fox, get the two, three. Season one for both of them is mainly going to be getting them cleaned up um, mechanically and you know somewhat cosmetic. Uh, we're not going to be doing like paint or nothing like that, probably until season two or three. Yeah. But season one is going to be getting both of them running correctly. Um, that's probably the biggest thing, especially for this, because it'd be nice to be able to drive it down the road, especially the, the Fox body. Yeah. Um, but getting both of them running right, um, obviously cleaned up because there's, you know, all kinds of stuff growing all over this and the Mustang. Yeah, um, it's horrible. And then after that, uh, we'll commence season two, which will be more in depth and we'll probably um, go in more detail at the end of the season. We'll basically reveal what we're gonna do to both uh, uh, projects, basically. Yeah, th there's one thing I wanna do in season one. That would clean up the undercarriage. Of this? Yeah. You know what it is. I think I know what it is. I mean, it would, you know, it would help I mean, out a lot because we could get, we could actually see what's going on with up underneath here, up underneath these yeah, fingers. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. While we're there, I know yeah. what you're getting at now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe that'd be like the finale. Like, that'd be like the first thing that we you know start season two off of that you would know? be a good idea and see, same same with the the fox body yeah you know? see we're just we're, we're going off of a whim here yeah it's not a wrecked rebuild no but it's a wrecked rebuild <laughs> you know what i mean so i mean the wiring that's a wreck yes uh, the cosmetics is a wreck yeah i mean i don't know why you know, everything's a wreck like we, we laughed because we can officially easy. say these trucks are not Silverados unless it has that badge, which you can't see. So it is a true Silverado, yep. but these things are actually known as what? Uh, C and K 1500s. Right. Yeah. So C, K is, you know, two wheel drive for four wheel drive. Yep. That's all it is. And we've got a C 1500 step side. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, 
I know this kind of seems weird. I'm not a big Chevy guy. Mm. This is my second Chevy. Yeah. Um, Hopefully not the last, though. Maybe not. I like them. It's simple. I mean, I literally wired up the knock sensor, you know, somewhat. Yeah. And what, 15 minutes, if that? If, if that. Um, so, kind of cool. Yeah, and I mean, it's it's pretty simple to work on. Yeah, everything's right yeah. here. Yeah. And it's an old, old push rod 350. Simple. And for Every single video, dude. Mm. You suck. <laughs> mm. That was Fair. probably... So, uh, let me see. Yep, yeah, that was... Uh, a little connection. Yeah, yeah somewhat, man. yeah. So, yeah. anyway... Let me take this pin off. I don't even know what to say about this, dude, but this has been no. a dream truck of mine because I remember being... 16 17 years old i bought a model truck just like this a step side it painted it built the whole thing don't give I, them I don't, no hints don't give them no hints so what we're gonna do with this thing okay but anyway when when wicked panda had said something to me it, if he's hadn't been around in a while but about selling this and that to me i yeah. couldn't i couldn't resist I mean, yeah. we paid two grand for both. Yeah, so a thousand for a Fox body and a thousand for a step side. That's an I mean, OBS yeah, step side. OBS. Step so, side. and of course, everybody, you know, we could probably flip this truck, get it running right now, leave this hood trash yeah, like this. All garbage. Just clean it up. Clean it up. Probably sell it for eight grand. And probably get. Yeah, in the area that we live in. Yeah. People pay that kind of money for these an old, old, yeah, old, old body, yeah, old OBS. Vehicles. So. I'm uh, I'm excited, man. I can't, I want to tell y'all what what I want to do to this thing. No, nope. can't. Can't. You gotta watch. Yeah, man. So, I guess we're gonna keep turning and burning on this thing because we really need to get the alternator fixed tonight. Get it charging. Yep. That way we can quit running this thing without alternator. Yeah. Um, like I said, rats chew so chew through the alternator yeah, wire. A lot of everything. The coolant temperature sensor wire. The knock sensor, so you got the knock sensor fixed. Somewhat. Yeah, while you clean, I may get the drop light, dig it out from underneath. That thing that's still on stands. Mm. Jack stands. That'd be later on. That'd be whatever Wednesday. Yeah, you'll see the headache that's, oh, yeah. that's, that's become. So... Let's we want to get this thing trying to idle by itself because we have to keep revving it up and yeah i, I haven't you can see I've, the loose wires everywhere that's been chewed through cut you know crappy yeah, wiring like, job like i said i mean instead of cutting the ac wires why just not disconnect them i mean who knows boy. and it's it's horrible like i don't even know what that goes to i mean this is i think that goes to a smog pump that's no longer here yep which is going to be a pain in the butt later on down the road, too, so. Yeah, we've got a lot of figuring stuff out to do. Yeah. But, I mean, we made it. Never mind. Mm-hmm. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> We're just trying to get it running right, man. <laughs> so, that being said, I guess you can hang out and watch me do... An alternator, alternator rewiring. Yeah, rewire the alternator and swap out the school and temp sensor with the pigtail. Yeah, man. And then we'll... Probably should take the pressure off the system before I do that. Yeah, 
try as good as I'm going to get this fucking adhesive off. Just by hand. Because this shit's a pain in the fucking ass. I'm going to go start looking for that shit. Because I don't know where the hell it is. I, I mean, I had it down here, but I could swear God had it down here. Do you remember putting it in more specific? Like out of the box? In a box or on a box? Or? I just put it on the toolbox. I had everything on the toolbox. The door locks. The coolant temp sensor. Like originally, the coolant temp sensor was on me. Or. Like I had it all right here. It's in a regular fucking box, just like this. I got small this. box. Really? Yeah. Fuck. And I had a special order of that one too. It, just to be able to get it. Well, fuck, bro. So I'm saying to you. took it out of the box, right? No. Well, I mean, I took it out of the box and looked at it, but I put it back in the box. I, mean, I had it up there at the computer, but when I looked up there, it wasn't there. There's a possibility it could be huh? hanging out with uh, like something else. Yeah, other car
There you go. It's a little dark here. Let me get in some light. Real quick, easy fix. Coolant temp sensor is all it took and now it's running like it should. Uh, <clears throat> trying to figure out what I did with the alternator wire harness that way it don't kill the battery. And of course, the shop is upside down yet again. With that being in the air, trying to get the clutch done, got to order another one. So, but I guess that's going to be it for this video, guys. We appreciate y'all watching. More to come. We'll get the uh, alternator pigtail put in next week, I guess. And keep cleaning this thing up, pressure wash it, get it looking somewhat decent. So until then, we love you. And remember, dream big.